Okay, ClearCom Technologies, we're going to show you how to remove the airbag from an 05 to 2010 Saab 93. First, we're going to show you how this works. The releases on the newer style are a little bit different. They're an oval, kind of a pill shaped. And the tool is a little bit different. It's just an L shaped tool. And with the sim normally sandwiched on here, what the goal is is to try and bring the tool in between the steering wheel and the sim. You're going to slide it in until it hits just the back side here. And I found that sometimes you have to kind of pull down. This is kind of a soft foam rubber. Not really soft, it's kind of a firm foam rubber. But you can still push against it and it deforms just a little bit for you. And so what you may have to do is slide this in all the way back, kind of pull it down and then just rock it in. Okay, and you're just going to rotate it in. Now, here's the problem. The spring runs right down the center of this oval or this pill shape. And so what happens is, is we've now come in on the wrong side because you've got to push the spring towards the center of the steering wheel. So once you're in place, I kind of tip it like this and I try and I lift towards the sim and I pivot and bring the tool in on the other side. Once you are, you can simply push and once you push, the spring releases it. Let me get this in here. So once you're in place, Whoops. Once it's in place, it pushes, and as you can see, it is separated just a little bit at this end. And then you want to put a screwdriver or something in on this side. I can hold this one with my thumb. And you come in on the other side, same story. You're going to come all the way to the back. You're going to rotate the tool into place, lift, pivot, come into the right side, push, and once you push, that releases, and now you can see that the airbag is completely free all the way across there. Okay, this is ClearCom Technologies, and this is segment one of removing the airbag from an 06 Saab 93. This works from 05 to 2010. This is the pill-shaped uh, retainer. So we're going to take our L-shaped tool, and we're going to come in here just just about here and we're going to pivot the tool end position and push inward just like that as you can see the airbag is popped out and then you can take the tool out while that is popped out take something like a screwdriver and just stick it in there it doesn't have to push it just needs to keep it from snapping back down all right clearcom technologies segment two removing the passenger side of the airbag. We're going to try and make this look as easy as possible, but it can be challenging. So, you know, if you don't get it immediately as quickly as we do, just keep trying. I'm going to roll in on my back underneath the wheel here so I can see the hole for the release. I'm going to move this into place here and push, and you see the airbag pops off and it is now free. Clearcom Technologies, we are demonstrating the removal of the steering wheel. The previous two segments demonstrated the release of the airbag. This is a new style airbag, so 05 to 2010. Once the airbag is released on this particular model, it's easier to lift the airbag and just set it on top of the steering wheel. The harness itself has a little yellow plug in and so you stick a screwdriver in there to release the tab. You can pull out the connector. This, this releases the airbag connector from the sim itself. After that you're going to need either a Torx T50 bit or an 18 millimeter Allen. I prefer the Torx and you just take off the bolt that holds the steering wheel on and so we're gonna take the bolt off there it's loose and after that it's basically just finger tight so you unscrew the bolt you got that get that out of your way and now the steering wheel simply pulls off no tools required just kind of wiggle it left and right hold on to the airbag because it's still attached to the wheel and now 
We've got the steering wheel off and we are down to the SIM. And here is the SIM module. This module right here. This is what you need to send in the mail. Now, most important, we need to mark the location of the clock spring. This is the clock spring. This is one of the reasons I use the scratch all tool. I want to mark two locations. Right here is a little moon shaped hole with a yellow plastic dot. That is the indicator of the location of the clock spring. So I'm, I make a little scratch here to show the location of the clock spring indicator. And I want to make a little scratch right here to show the, lo the actual location of the clock spring. That way when the SIM module is returned to you, you know exactly how to reinstall it and in what location it is to not permanently damage your SIM module. Now we'll proceed to removing the SIM module. On the SIMs, I find it easier if you release and the SIM pulls out, it telescopes in and out, pull it out as far as it pulls out and then lock it back in place. The next thing we're going to do is remove the bib and this is just hiding the the driver's view from the internal workings of the car but all I do is I pinch both sides you pinch it right here and just pull it towards you it will just unsnap and what I like to do is I just unsnap it and stretch it right over the sim that gets it out of your way now there are there are two I'm going to move this down. I forgot to move it out and down. So we're going to move it down so we can get... Actually, I can grab both hooks. There's two big tangs holding the sim onto the column. And I can pull one... I can pull the bottom one down with my fingers, but the top one I can't, I can't get enough leverage on. So I'm going to stick a screwdriver and lift it up. And with that, the sim has pulled away. And the only thing holding the sim to the car now is the harness and all you do is you pull out on this little maroon connector I'm going to use a screwdriver just to get it started after I've got it started I'm going to pull on it with my fingers and it ejects and the sim is now off of the car here are the two tangs that were holding it to the column so those simply get pulled out to release them from their resting points on the column With the SIM module removed from the vehicle, we want to prepare it for shipping. First thing we do is tape the clock spring into place. Just a couple pieces of tape on there. Secure it down so that it won't move during shipping. Then to remove the shroud, we simply pull and wiggle just like we did to remove it off of the dashboard. Both sides just pop right off. And the final thing we need to do is remove the wiper arm and blinker arm. If you look on the underside there's a small release hole on both of the arms. And if I grab my scratch all again and come in on that release hole at about a 45 degree angle from the rear. It presses down on a tab and the arm pulls right out. At this point, the SIM is ready to ship. This is exactly what we need to be able to make you a new key. So, simply wrap it in a couple of layers of bubble wrap. And stick it in a box, slightly larger than the SIM itself. And you can fill in any empty spaces with either packing peanuts or crushed paper. And finally, on the website, you can print off our order form and fill it out with your ship to address and phone number and put it in the box with the SIM module. That way when it arrives you know exactly where it came from and where it needs to go and who to contact.